I have washed and texturized my hair last night with my favorite styling mix. Now I'm going to start applying hot rollers. And you can see I've sectioned off just a little bit of hair from the front. With the remaining hair, I proceed in the following manner. I'll be taking small sections of hair, such that the width of each section matches the size of the hot roller. So I take this section, I use some hairspray on each section. I recommend to use a hairspray with a light hold because it will be better for your hair. And then I just apply the roller starting from the end of this section. I just roll it like this till the very end and secure it with a clip, with a special clip that comes with this roller. On the other side, I do exactly the same thing. So I take a small section of hair, make sure it's not too wide, that it actually matches the size of the roller. Use some hairspray on it. And apply my roller. So now you know what you should do with the remaining hair. You should go in layers, starting from the top rollers and then proceed in the same manner with the remaining hair. Once we'll be done with all this hair, we'll want to finally curl the hair from this top section and we want to curl it away from the face. And then finally, when you'll be done with all that, you have to leave your hair in rollers for at least 20 minutes. I actually recommend to leave it for half an hour because this will let your hair mm, cool down and this way your curls will last longer. Once you remove your hot rollers, you should get this kind of nice looking, cute and bouncy curls. The amount of curliness will depend on the amount of hairspray used. So the more hairspray you use on each section, the more curly your hair will get. Now it's time to start splitting and forming it with our fingers. So I'll be taking each curl and splitting it with my fingers into smaller curls and shaping them by turning around my finger like this. Because if I just split it in two, it might lose some of its curlings and we don't want that. Try to follow the direction of curl. Once we're done with all these curls, it's time to decide what we want to do with this front section of hair. And we have a couple of choices. The choice number one is to use a comb to secure it in the crown area. I'm going to brush it through a bit. Keep it flat over here and secure it just as simple as that. So this is the first version. The second version would be by using either hair grips or little clips and uh, here we want to take this section of hair, bring it somewhat forward to create additional volume in, in this area. And then just secure it in place. And what else we can do here is the following. We can take this section, twist it a bit 
like this. Form this curl with your fingers. And pin it. Where it looks best. I actually really love this look and feel so comfortable wearing this hairstyle. I find it so cute and girly. And please notice that you could have picked much more beautiful hair accessories than this little pin of mine. I think medium sized flowers would be just perfect for this purpose. Just be creative and experiment with your hair a bit to find what suits you best. But that's not everything yet, because this hairstyle can be easily transformed into a classic old Hollywood hairstyle with a beautiful wave. We just have to brush our hair through. Once you're done with brushing your hair through, you should get this gorgeous, elegant hairstyle for special occasions. It's definitely one of my favorites, and you've seen how easy it was to create it. I hope now you will not have to spend a lot of money in expensive salons, because you'll be able to create it all alone. I'm actually going to further accessorize it with this flower. I thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.